Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part four of Let's Play European Universal's 4 in... No, no. The Harmer as uh, Vienica. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this part is light because just... I'm probably going to change the time, Vic, to coming out at 9 o'clock instead. Even though this is still late by that standard. But you get the... It doesn't... Don't, don't worry about it. It's, it's coming out. That's all that matters. Now, in the last part, we took over Mysore as a vassal. And we took out... Uh, I believe it was... Uh, which one is it? It's... Ven Venad. We took out Venad as an actual, you know, uh, annexation. Now, the next on the jo docket is to take out Kote um, as a vassal. After we uh, obviously get rid of Mysore. Now, we're currently trying to rebuild our military because 16,000 men for an empire as big as we are, our kingdom as big as we are, is not good. We're also very close to getting ourselves a new government reform. We're at uh, we're nearly two thirds. Actually, no, we are at two thirds. What the fuck am I on about? Sixty six percent of two thirds. God damn it, me. Um, yeah, I need. I think it's probably worth spending our manpower to get our men back up, like our armies back up to standard. I, I just need the fear factor to keep the Bahamians um like away off of me. Like, they are currently declaring war on Bastra, and it looks like they may be able to grow a little bit, so we do need the extra men. Actually, on a, on a side note, do they have more men than me yet? No. We are still the fourth strongest person we know of, which is... That's good to know. Definitely good to know. Um, <clears throat> 4,000 men. I mean, yes. Yeah, we'll get two men there, and we'll get two infantry over there. It's uh, it's just necessary right now. In, in, in the fact that it will take 10 years to get our manpower back up, um, I think we'll be fine. We've got loads of years ahead of us. And if we're able to make Kote on our light, these guys are our, our, our vassal. We can then go from there making some more... Uh, I mean, if we, if we conquer the south, we may actually just have like an easy conquest until we go back to war against the Bahamans. Um... There will be blood. Uh, these guys are attacked. These two are going to go to war. It's good to know. Uh, the second we can, Mysore is going to be annexed to all hell. Purely because they just I need to get rid of them straight away. How's my aggressive expansion going? It's a 36. Uh, in 10 years, it still won't be down enough. It's an upsetting, but... I don't have much aggressive expansion against Kote, so that vassalizing them shouldn't be too much of a problem. We could threaten war, but they wouldn't give me it. Yeah, I'm actually going to prepare this uh, next wall. This is going to be the next most important one because I just think that they are. Uh, well, they just they, it makes most sense to get rid of them. Why you war then? Oh, because this you share you do actually share a water water away with them or a seed tile with them. Fair enough. I look forward to seeing if you take them out. And then, you know, beating you when you, you don't. Damn, this guy's gone back to being just a normal spearman. Well, that's upsetting. Anyway, so I think the plan for now, ladies and gentlemen, is like I keep saying, just take out the south and uh, hope that goes well. It more than likely will. It's just we need to make sure. And if they take out, if they take out these guys, though, we'll... Uh, well, it'll uh, make life a little bit... Uh, Weird. Uh, but, I mean, then again, we may be able to ice their army, destroy their army, and then just waltz over onto their land. They don't actually have a fort. They only have a capital fort. So, yeah, taking them out should be pretty easy. And they won't have a fort here either. So, yeah, it's definitely um, a simple process if we were to do it. Jane and Brahmin bankers. While Vienegar typically relies on Jane banking families to finance state loans, the Jains are far from the only financiers in the realm. Several Brahmin, or Brahmin families also engage in banking. Representatives of these Brahmin argue the case for favoring their services over the Jains. While they cannot offer the same low interest rates, they stress that the confidence of the Hindu people and the Brahmin leadership will correspond to faith, uh, to increase faith in the Vienegar economy. I'm just going to say the Jain have done well by us. I mean, I don't see... A, they've not... Uh, While well, the Brahmins... So let's see what the... You know, I'm just going to look at the bonuses and think that way. They give me tax. Okay, yeah, we're going to favour the... Yeah, increase tax. 
and they give no effect. So that's like that's like it's not even there's no bad thing with that. Whereas we just got like more money out of the other guy. So you need, you need to come to the south. I think it's I think it is time that we uh, well not time that we declared war, but I think that we are going to go with the strategy that I uh, laid out. Uh, it's 22,000 is still the battle line, so I'm going to move these guys up another, uh, to 14,000. And then I'm going to get these guys slowly up to 14,000. Fuckers, you are actually growing. That's, um... I, I'd say kind of problematic. You're uh, in an annoying position. I'm going to proclaim Miwa because I just want to make sure that they're safe. Uh, Got to keep my Hindu allies alive. I do not want a naval doctrine. I would like some more money coming in though, so we'll get that going. Um, yeah, we'll get all the ones done because they're the most—they're the most important right now. And I mean, investing my economy while I can is definitely a very smart strategy. Yeah, Kote took that over. They don't have access to media. No, but. Oh, they were going to the boats, it's fine. Um, I could. Lo I don't want to lose stability, nor do I want to lose legitimacy, it's fine. I think stability is a little bit more useful at the moment. I'm going to swap these two. I'm also going to swap you out for a uh, generic love. Oh, that generic leader shit. We'll take that one. You can take that one. Right. I think they must be down there, if they're anywhere. Then again, no, I'd be able to see. Where the hell are they? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Right, let's get you up by. I can't actually afford any cavalry, but I can afford two infantry, so let's do that. Miwa, your faith flyers requesting against. Mawa. That's fine with me. You, uh. Take those out, Miwa. Um, I'm gonna prepare to take out these guys with no manpower in a second. As long as we don't we, we carpet siege, we don't leave too many men in enemy territory, we should be fine. We'll see. The Brahmin, the Brahmins, or Barmanis, Barmanis, whatever they're called, we need to kill them. We we, we need it. Like that's that's a necessity, but it's a necessity we'll have to get to later. That netted us 12 favours. I didn't do anything. Well, if you can net favours by doing nothing, ladies and gentlemen, then that's a fucking win in anyone's book. Right, you're really happy with me, which is great and all. It means that I need to get rid of, I need to get the war of these guys in. Um I think my navy's bigger than theirs. I don't really know. I'm actually, I'm actually going to pay for my navy for a while. I'm not going to use it. Once we get up to 5,000 men, we'll get this war with uh, Kote done. Make them our vassal and we'll be able to use them again. Yeah, they do have their armies down here. Or navies down. Oh, army, yeah, army. So we'll charge their army straight away. That's going to be the way we're going to win the war. Not a uh, hard way to win. With Anhara, we are, uh, if we get Arissa in alliance, which uh, we don't really have the thing... Since the foundation of our empire, a steady stream of Tel Telugu settlers have migrated south into our lands from the Telugan in the north. We have so far graciously provided them with land to develop this in, their sparsely pop in the sparsely populated parts of our empire, and built water tanks to help their settlements grow. This, this is well, this way we have gained a healthy and loyal source of manpower for our armies. Lately, however, these settlers, known as uh, Vadugans by the Tamils, have started to spread even further south into Tamil speaking area into the Tamil speaking areas. Tamil farming communities have raised their voices to uh, allow them to stop the settlers from moving into their land. Kongu, what is that? Uh, what is that? I'm gonna figure out what it, the uh, man like the like the actual but uh, problems would be. Uh, I don't know why I'm just gonna do it this way. Uh, it's so. Uh, that's not Kongu. Wait, fuck, it was... 
Oh, I can't remember the fucking... So how the fuck did I forget the search button? It's F. <sighs> Con... Goo. Yeah, it'll be fine. Extra manpower right now will probably be better for us anyway. Yeah, see, they're not actually overly upset. It's actually good for us, so I don't see a problem, really. Now, we could stay down here. And we're going to. Profit is profit, ladies and gentlemen. And with all of this, the sooner we stay all of this, the better. Ah, yes, we can stay here as well. Why not? We're going to own the... We are going to own the rest of it, so... I think it is time that we declared war. Though, uh, what's my... What's my... What is my... Mal um, uh, aggressive expansion like? It's a bit tense. It's a little bit tense. So, but not really tense to the north too much. It's tense in the south. So if I keep it tense in the south, then it's fine. The sooner we declare war, actually, the better for us, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go straight to this, uh... My navy may... Oh, wait. Yeah, go home. You're going home when it war. That's alright. We wouldn't be able to break that army before they get any morale. We did. If we go there... You fuckers are gonna go there, and then I'm gonna... Split a siege here. Quarantine the port for influenza. Type to siege and then take the rest home. Nah, shit. They ran out of men. That's fine. Right. We'll just, we'll just reinforce them with men that we have in a minute. We shouldn't really take much attrition from this war, if any. Well, we've taken obviously 1,200, but we shouldn't take any more than that. Let's have a look. We'll see at the end of the month if we take any more, because it'll automatically uh, jump up here. Yeah, okay, we're still taking 200-odd, which is upsetting, but... I guess sieges have that problem. I'm going to bring our navy out and use that to uh, finish this siege off quickly. Now, I want you as my bitch. The only province I'd want is that, because I don't want you having land over a million land for now. Mostly because it just... it's It doesn't ruin it or anything. Actually... If I, mm. you know, we'll take if we will take if we diplo. We'll make them our bitch. So we're gonna vassalize them, and that's it. They are uh, vassal number uno, uh, number two. I don't know. What, I can't remember what number two is. So just go, just, just go uno. Uh, you're being supportive. You may not like me for a while, but that's fine. Let's have a look at the aggressive expansion now. I only really hit the people in the south. Didn't hit, really hit anyone uh, too far north. Uh, again, it probably just like grazed these guys over here. It, fuck. I mean, yeah, it didn't really piss off anyone. In a couple of years, we can, uh, we'll be back to fine. And we, we didn't really use much manpower, ladies and gentlemen. So that is what I call a win, win, win. All right, so let's stop doing that. We, uh, we could placate them. We're, gonna, we're, we're going to placate them, actually. It's, it's a lot safer to placate them than uh, just leave them. You are probably going to be next. Like if we finish off the south, then we've, uh, well, then we can steadily move north and not have to worry about really anything. Send in salt. Your entire line suffers from delusion of adequacy. Wow, I do like that. That we you now have, uh, like you now have the actual insults, not just a. You have been insulted. It's like yeah, you've actually got a proper insult, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Bahamans, I really want you to be my next war, but at the same time, I want to take out the South. Like, I, the South, like, owning the South will mean any, all I have to do is push North, which means I can triple and double my efforts. Oh, this is a sh sh not shitty normal event. Well, my store is in my province, so I'm, o I'm not overly fussed about that. Unless it, is it done in this? Oh. It was this one. That's fucking painful. It said Mysore. Oh, it meant Mysore the region. Well, that's fucking dickish, isn't it? 
I didn't notice. All right, Navy, come home. We're going to uh, turn you off. Well, sorry, not turn you off. Mothball you again. Which is essentially turning them off, let's be honest. All right, with that done, uh, we only have two more people in the south to take out. Ah, yes. Bora marry you while we can. I should get the relations down. My saw, we can annex in 66. Obviously, we're going to need to get our relations pushed the hell up, but I think it's doable. I mean, we gain... One, two, three, four, five. We gain five... 6.4. We gain 6.4 relations every year, and we we can we can also give them money and gar and give them money and influence them if we if, when we want to annex them. So there's 50 relations right there. So yeah, we we can easily annex them when we need to. Once they're annexed, we'll have uh, another four and uh, all ca all, all cores, which all stated cores, which is gonna be great. And how uh, probably just gonna try and keep you for a long time. The Bahamins. They want everything around them, so we're going to have to fight them sooner rather than later. I know that much. So we're up to 24,000 men. And the Bahamins, Bahamanis, or whatever you want to call them, are at 14. So we've, we've kept ourselves higher than them again, which is good. And it was Calcutta that we're uh, preparing an invasion for. Go over there. You go up over here to try and quell these rebellions. We don't need them annoying us. The Vendi Separatists will go away soon enough. Yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the autonomy up here is a bit shit, but it's going down as much as it can per month. And uh, it'll do its best. So Calcutta. Oh, Calica. Well, yeah, Calcutta's up here, I think, actually. Uh, Calcutta. Pretty sure Calcutta. Yeah. Nice, no, Kotak. Pretty sure Kotak might be Calcutta as well. Oh, I'm fucking no. I'm not really overly knowledgeable in India, like I said, I've said. I'm pretty sure it's up here somewhere, though. Doesn't matter, though. Anyway, so, Vienega, you're doing just fine right there. Gote, you're doing just fine. I could, wait, Mysore, do you want this? You do. I could give this to Mysore, and then, and then I could annex, when I annex Mysore, I get another state, state without having to use admin. Because Diplo seems to be doing just fine right now. Uh, the Bamins are uh, yeah, technologically, technologically gifted in comparison to me at the moment. That's fine. That's fine. The, the Renaissance is going to kill off anything soon enough. Kill kill off a lot of our uh, chance soon enough, which is fine. Uh, well, it's not fine, but it'll, I'll, I'll be able to put up with that. Try and get some more money. All right, Cal Cut. Or Cali Cut. You're, uh... You're about to get... For 70, I'd rather just use the take you and Diplo. Because Diplo isn't an upfront cost. It's a, uh... Yeah, it's an overtime. And you're allied with who? Uh... Okay. That's fair. You wish to be allied with them? Fine. There we go. We'll quickly take out these guys. We may lose quite a few men in this, so this this may be uh, upsetting to me. Yeah, we just lost quite a bit more manpower than I want. Oh, didn't mean to do that one. We'll leave a siege there and pull back. I want to build up my manpower. Once we take this for, uh, well, if we take it for us, we gain 10 aggressive expansion. If we gain it for my sword, we'll probably gain a lot less, I hope. It's not always how that works, though, so you never know. Right. You're currently converting the Hindu. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd really, really, really like you not to do that. You know, you're converting your lord's religion, and I mean, that's just... Ah, well, we'll just we'll put up with it. It's not a problem. Mostly because we convert them to our religion, we'll give them a plus 100 liberty desire. We, we can't really spare that. You know what? It's probably best that we keep this out of the Navy ready so I can use it to, uh, well, do stuff I need it to do. How much uh, attrition are we getting? We're getting some, but I think it's offset by the amount of manpower we gain monthly, so it should be okay, I think. We'll see you soon enough. 
It's going to take an age to repair my fleet, so it's kind of bad judgment in me to uh, even mothball them again. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we're very close to a uh, reform. I think we're going to have to do it in the next part, though, unfortunately. Mostly because, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, it is the end of the part. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next part. See you guys then.